Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about Debian Trixie. Ta -da! And first off, I'm gonna say that last video was wrong. Uh, I did a little bit of a misstep there when I talked about a bug or something that didn't work well in Merger FS. And it was mainly the writing part. Uh, I got that working and it has pretty good uh, decent performance so it doesn't really have that issue. The issue I had was that I ran Bookworm of Debian and Debian 12 Bookworm was released in 2023 which is before the fix for that um, uh, merger FS was done and merger FS has a lot of releases since then, but hasn't uh, repackaged it for uh, Bookworm. So when I installed Trixie to try it out, it worked just fine because it almost had the latest version in Trixie. I installed Trixie a couple of days before actual release. Uh, it was released as I'm filming this yesterday. So it's very new uh, and it has a couple of great in improvements here. So first off, we have the new kernel uh, 6.12 LTS that is um, shipping with it. And it has a lot of extra support for more drivers and so on. I'm not going to go into all the different parts, but it's a new kernel, new fresh operating system. And a big part of Debian is to be extremely stable. So we are running Debian in all of our production environments because it's very stable and we can upgrade to the latest version without being afraid that something breaks because everything has been tested and so on. So it's a very good system to run production environments on. Um, other upgrades are new GCC 14.2, uh, not very new uh, GCC, but at least it's an upgrade. The same goes for Python running 3.13, not super new, but at least an upgrade. Um, and we also have the default desktop of GNOME 48. Not particularly important to me because I'm running server operating systems and never installed a desktop or UI, but it's good to know that they have uh, stepped up there as well. So now to some very major important things that have changed and those are architectural changes. They've added support for RISC-V 64-bit systems. So if you are running RISC-V, it's still a very uh, not that uh, a very non-performant system at the moment. Uh, RISC-V is an interesting open source solution but so far they haven't really got it to, to perform as well as the proprietary versions. But it's a very interesting uh, uh, way of going forward. And if Intel uh, actually disappears or gets sold for parts, we might need RISC-V to be some kind of uh, um, competitor to AMD. So that could be something. Uh, it also drops support for 32-bit architectures. And we also have HTTP boot support in UFI. So those are interesting and could be uh, interesting for the future. I'm not going to run any RISC-V at the moment, but I've been uh, playing around with the thought at least of buying a RISC-V board to try things out. Uh, other things when it comes to security, really good things for the future. Uh, we have these kind of uh, concepts in assembly when you are writing function calls or anything like that in higher level programming. So when you, for instance, go run a function with a couple of parameters, or if you have a method on an object and you go there to run something, what you actually are doing in assembly is that you are calling somewhere or jumping somewhere. So you set a couple of things on the stack and you also set where you want to return to and then you call over there, you do a couple of operations, then you run a return operation, and then the return operation takes the information on the stack and moves back. And if the uh, attacker were to change these memory addresses on the fly, so either the jump goes to the wrong place or the return goes to the wrong place, 
you would have something that could be attacked and you could have an exploit. So they have added extra security around these calls in order to improve security. So that's a very interesting uh, uh, add addition to the system. Another interesting uh, addition uh, that people have been talking about, we have a third, uh, 2038 problem where everything will stop working because Unix time will end up not having enough numbers. It will just run out of numbers. Um, but they have now added at least support in the kernel for 64-bit uh, times. So we don't have that problem anymore. I don't think that anyone will live uh, past 64 bits. At least I will not. So it's not going to be a problem. Um, so that is a huge change, of course. And it will, in the future, require a lot of uh, uh, applications to be rewritten in order to use different timestamps, perhaps use more memory, and also other implications. So adding it in the kernel is just the first step. There is a lot of more work to be done before 2038. We still have time. Uh, other improvements is, of course, a lot of new uh, packages, 14,000 uh, pa new packages, a new APT, uh, APT3, and it has support for downloading multiple packages as one. So it's much faster than previous versions. We have curl support for HTTP 3. So that is also interesting that we uh, have newer technologies for calling things. Uh, curl has been in very um, rapid development for many years and it's just a single developer pretty much so it's very interesting to see that it's still getting new features new protocols and so on uh, a labor of love uh, and a thing for me that is interesting is that Hanspell now can support these kind of binary uh, dictionaries i'm using dictionaries in my work currently so having more support for Hanspell is interesting and this Debian version will uh, have a long time support uh, to roughly 2030. So that was Debian Trixie, released the 9th of August. For me, yesterday, probably uh, the day before for you. Um, so this was what I wanted to cover today. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. Is there anything in particular here that you are excited for in Debian? Are you running Debian in your production environment? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.